Hello! Welcome to my first tutorial slash 101 video here for Starbase. We are in closed alpha, so everything in this video is, uh, you know, could change, um, but hopefully it will be useful to players that are new to closed alpha or early access. Uh, so what we're going to go over is just go over hinges and sliders. Uh, hinges and sliders are used for making doors in Starbase. Uh, the one that you're probably going to see the most, particularly for doors, is going to be the hinge. Uh, the hinge comes in, actually both the hinge and the slider come in two parts. Uh, for in particular for the, the hinge, you have the base, which is this guy right here, which is highlighted right now. And then you also have this part that's just at, added to it, which is called the pin. So what these two guys do, the pin is what actually rotates. It's that little bar and this guy right here. Uh, and the base is what controls the state of the pin. And if you look below the pin, you'll see these two points here. This is for attaching plates to the pin. That's what uh, grips the plate so that the hinge, when the pin spins, it also spins the plate, which you'll see over here. If we take a look, we can see that these uh, bolts are going into the plate, which is holding it to the, uh, the pin so that when the door opens, it brings the plate with it. Uh, and one other thing to go over real quick is you'll see these in a couple of the pre-mades, but you can actually extend the plates that you use on the door uh, in case your, your opening is maybe a, a little bit unusually sized using other plates and bolting them all together in one big plate. That works just fine. Um, yeah, so let's uh, give an example of how to really use them here. So this door is not currently functioning, and the reason is that the button is not uh, configured correctly, nor is the, uh, the base here. It does have power, so we just have a basic battery set up. It's powering the uh, the base, which is required for the, the, the door to open using the, a button action. Uh, so the, the values that we need to look at are here on the door. We just press our U button while looking at the base, and that pulls up its properties. The most important one for configuring the door to open and close is door open state. Um, basically, it's think of it almost more of as uh, both the name of the door and the current target state. So the current state's right here, but this is what we want it to become. So when this is different from this, then it starts to, you know, get do stuff with this stuff to open the door. A little bit complicated, but let's let's just get into it here. So what we're gonna do to make things a little simpler is we're gonna rename this because we also just want this button to open this door only. We don't want it to open other doors. So we want to give it a unique property name here. So we're going to call it uh, test door 01. Press enter. Make sure we press enter so that the field saves. We're going to exit that view. We're going to look at our button here. This is a hybrid button. It also works with regular buttons. These two slots though I think only work for hybrid buttons so just keep that in mind. Um, and then we're going to click the U button while looking at our hybrid button. It's going to bring up the properties. Oh, wait, did we rename the wrong one? We sure did a bit. Oh no, it was just like that from before when I was testing it. Okay, so we're gonna change this from door open state to what the base is to make sure they match and so then they'll be unique and this button will only affect that door. So we're gonna rename this to test door 01, just like that. And that's all you have to do in order to get the button to function. So now when you click the button, it's gonna open. However, something to keep in mind though, whoa, really open didn't it one thing to keep in mind though right now is right now out of the box this hybrid button is set to uh, push which means if you hold it down it will open but as soon as you release it starts to close generally not the reaction you want for a, uh, a door so we're gonna modify that by looking at our hybrid button and pressing the U key again and we're gonna look at button styles this changes the mode that the button is in so zero is uh, push, you gotta hold it down. Uh, we want it to be toggle, so we set it to one. Press enter, and then we use it, and it's gonna toggle it on. And when you turn it off, it's gonna toggle it closed. Just like that, simple as that. So the other thing to show you while we're at it is another thing that can be used with doors called a grip, handle grip. Grip hand, hand grip, hand grip, hand grip, that's it. So it's just this little guy here. It looks exactly how it's named, a hand grip. Uh, it takes two bolts. You just put on one of the, the plates that's attached to the pin. Uh, as far as I can tell, it doesn't have to be attached to the plate that's attached to the pin directly. It can, as you can see here, attach to one indirectly attached to it. 
Um, so where these grip handles come in handy is if you have a circumstance where either you don't want to power a door because you don't need to, because you're going to use it so rarely, like an access hatch on the outside to access some, some box thrusters in your inner components or something. So you don't really need it to be powered, you don't need it that fancy, you don't want to have to run the cables or something. You could just use a grip handle. Or the other big use for a grip handle is when you run out of power or cables get interrupted. Uh, what it does, let's break our cable here. So we no longer have power to our door, so if we use our hybrid button, you see it's offline, nothing's happening. However, if we want to open the door, you can't just click on it, it won't open. But if we have a handle, you can hold down F and drag it open. Just like that. So now even though you don't have power, your door still functions. It's very good for uh, uh, outside doors in case you get locked out of your, your, your ship. If it uh, doesn't have power for some reason to those doors, then you can still open them. So very convenient that. And you can do all sorts of different things. We'll load up one of the pre-made vessels that has a lot of doors with some interesting configurations to take a look at as well. So next on the docket is the slider. So the slider looks very similar to the uh, the base of the, uh, the hinge in that it comes in different styles. This one's called a C-type. It wraps around a, uh, uh, a beam, a tw uh, 24 centimeter beam width. Um, this one just goes smack on tab, a top. There's a L shape, so there's plenty of, of uh, different types to work with and different sizes. Um, the slider works just like a door in that if you program the button, uh, like I, I showed, it's very similar. Just rename that top field. I think it's slightly named, slightly different here. No, it's the same. It's just works just like a door. So it's door open state. So just change that value. In this case, we set it to slide zero one. And then we can set it to a button, hit the button, and it opens. Just like that. So it just slides off to the side. Oh, I forgot to bolt that down. Uh, which actually doesn't matter because uh, these, I found out, do not work for sliders, as far as I can tell. If anybody wants to let me know how to use uh, grip handles with sliders, please let me know. But the slider does not have a grip handle, so it does require power to function. But rather than requiring uh, or going to... Um, at an angle to open, it will slide to the left. Um, I don't know if there's any, let's see here. End position 100, start position zero. Can we increase the end position without breaking anything? Let's just find that out. I've never actually tried that. So we set it to 250. It doesn't look like it changed to me. but we could probably at the very least. So it looks like it caps out at 100. Start position though, we should definitely be able to modify though. Yep, so that worked just fine. So this is definitely probably capped out at 100, I would say. And then velocity I'm guessing just increases the speed of the slide. So if we double that, doesn't look any faster so my guess is is that one is also capped I don't know why it's set to uh, to three by default because it doesn't I don't think that actually does anything I bet that this is taking a uh, is a multiplier and it caps out at, at 1.0 so but if we set it to 0.5 I bet you that would make it go half as fast I definitely felt like half as fast so do 10% as fast we should really be able to notice that if it can go that low of a fraction. Yep, sure can. Look at that. So you can also set that to the doors and that one I did experiment with and did find that it, it appears to clamp at one, uh, between zero and one. So you'd want to set it to a fraction like 0.01 uh, or 0 .0, uh, 0.5, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that's just the basics here for using sliders and doors. Um, yeah, the key thing to remember again is where to attach your plates hinges it's gonna be right here you got these handy dandy guys right here to indicate where to bolt in where you can bolt in um, sliders it is a little bit different just keep that in mind it, it, there's no like unless it's open inside the the test mode or something or live mode um, it's not very clear where it starts and ends um, 
I did suggest that maybe they change the colors of the slider so that it uh, is a little bit more clear where the those points are. But as you can see, I just bolted it right below, similar to the hinge, and it worked just fine. Um, judging by the size of this thing, you could also bolt it here on the inside if you needed to for some reason. And that should work great. So yeah, that's the basics for setting up doors and giving them buttons and using grip handles. <laughs> So I actually almost signed off without touring uh, some pre-made vessels to show their doors. Uh, there's one in particular I wanted to show called the Ithaca. Uh, so I'm going to load up that, uh, that ship here using the SSC uh, and then we'll check out some of their doors. Alright. So here we are, the Ithaca uh, Mark IV. It's quite a big ship and it has quite a few doors uh, that we can take a peek at for some examples. Uh, so here they have some uh, hatch doors here. They definitely got them looking a lot more interesting than just a, a blank sheet of, uh, of bolted uh, whatever's, bolted plates. So let's go ahead and open that guy. That's definitely a hinge door. I don't know if there's any sliders in this. I thought there might have been one or two, uh, but honestly I don't recall off the top of my head. Uh, so let's just check out. So here we got uh, two hinge doors. I'm not sure how they're queued up. My guess is they both probably have the same name, Cargo Door, for their Open Door seat. No, it doesn't. It has Open Door 2. So it must use a YOLO chip. Must be this guy right here, I bet. Uh, to, uh, I bet you this changes state. The YOLO checks for that change and then sequence sequentially opens these doors because they do open sequentially. First it starts with the bottom one, then it opens with the top one. Just like that. Pretty nifty. Looks very nice too with the angles. Uh, what else do we got here? What's this one? Whoa! What was that? Oh, it's a grate. Oh, handy little place where you can access to one of the hard points if you need to rehook something up. I think there's some more of those over here, which could be good for storage. Yep, there's one. They just used a basic plate here to bind them together. You could put like uh, some more access hatch here for some hard points. You could store some items down there, maybe weapons, tools. Just like that. I think this is a hinge door. Very good. It's got buttons on the inside and the outside. They just have the same name as the door state there. And I believe they toggle each other as well. Uh, so let's see if we take a look at this guy. Slide door, button state value is one. Or zero, and now it's one. So then this guy should also be that same value, right? Yep, so that's how they work, is they, they both change each other's states. So they stay in uh, sequence. So that's the door we came in through. Uh, is this back door hinge? It is a hinge. This one opens from the top. Anything interesting in here? Nope, nothing too interesting. Oh, we can't even get in there, really. Uh, I suppose we have to go like this. Whoop! Anything interesting in here? Not that I can see. Any buttons? No. Whoa! There we go. So I don't think there's any sliders in this one. I could have swore I remember seeing one in here when I was doing some research, but perhaps I was mistaken. But still, very cool looking ship. Lots of cool doors and hatches and button setups here. This little panel's pretty cool. You can't actually use your, uh, your uh, WASD to fly, but you could if you needed to make some touches from up here. Turn all the lights on. And some other cool stuff. So all sorts of neat stuff you can do with doors. Uh, control them from different panels, use different buttons, and they all can connect together. If you have any other uh, features of Starbase you'd like me to uh, go over in a little bit more detail, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just kind of see what pops up as far as uh, stuff I run into that I didn't have answers for and try and get videos out to help others. So thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you on my other videos. Bye-bye.